So, welcome back everybody to part two, to week two of Tales of Thumbs and Fortunes. Uh, if you missed it, click on the screen, I should put an annotation for you to go back and view what happened in the previous part. However, we come back to you guys, we shall roll time forward a bit, shall we say. You guys have been sat at the bar, drinking, the soldiers have been very loud. It's like going to a pub here in England. Or Weatherspoons, something like that. People are drinking, it's getting quite loud, it's getting quite boisterous. Uh, did you guys want to do anything in that time? Or do you just want well, to sit I'll... there, drink, talk and go to bed? I'll try to do a little song again, see if I can get some money. Okay then. Like uh, I say, roll I'll always try to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do a little shimmy, up and down the aisles. <laughs> <laughs> Can I cast? Can I cast light and um, like make make it some <laughs> kind of disco ball? Like, like well, like flash do dance. Some... <laughs> yeah, like flash dance. <laughs> yeah. On the stage. yeah. <laughs> the bucket of water comes on her. Comes down on yeah. her. <laughs> I just sit in disagreement, hiding in the corner of the bar. <laughs> 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 What's all that? It's going on. We just get this image of Pat across, and there's Jin sat there, hood up. So even the lighting is super dark. Nope. <laughs> even your ale's now changed to a glass of whiskey. And, um, and, and Short Claw, whatever his name is, is just sat there clapping. Yeah. yeah. Long Claw's joining in. Long Claw. Uh, Little Claw. Not Long Claw. Little Claw. Yeah. Bob, little Claw. Yeah. Everybody loves Bob. Bob is amazing. <laughs> Best NPC 2017. <laughs> uh, okay then, as you're performing Shinju, uh, a few of the soldiers that are really quite drunk and quite rowdy start cheering and start leering at you. Uh, you do manage to get some coinage out of them. Uh, what shall we give you? Let's give you... Uh, yeah, uh, everybody in the room managed to acquire <coughs> nine copper pieces for yourself. Mm -hmm. It's not a massive fortune, but you feel quite oh, smug okay. and quite proud. See, I missed a trick then. I should have put on the minor illusion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you did miss a trick, that could have uh, given you some bonuses. But, oh well. Oh well. Another day. One more day. Okay then. Um, anybody else doing anything, or are you just drinking the night away? Um, is is there anyone that's selling stuff, or at least that lady, that elven lady, with the um, crow, if I remember rightly, or it was a bird of the some description. Yeah, it was uh, an <coughs> eagle. She had. Eagle or a hawk, it was a bird of prey. Um, yeah. Either way, though, you guys, you know, sort of scan the room really quick with you and Bob between you. And... Nope, you cannot see her. She doesn't appear to be here. She's already left to do whatever she wants to do overnight. Probably hunt something. And there's probably no one else selling stuff. No. Sadly not. <laughs> Alright. Um, hmm, I'm just trying to think. Um, how am I going to put this in? Actually, yeah, we can do it just like this. So, obviously, time catches back up to the present. So, all that dancing, singing, yeah, Tom's up, uh, like light show, yeah, and Jin <laughs> sulking in the corner. Uh, that's <laughs> like taken several hours. We catch up to the present time, and <coughs> as you're all sitting around and enjoying jovial drinks. Bob drinking like a fish still. Still and going. Still going and still won't go down. That's another <laughs> natural 20. He's a hard drinker. Well, he's seen a lot, let's be fair. He nearly died. Can, can I make a constitution as well, see how drunk I am? Yep, you can make a constitution check. I mean, you've been drinking quite a lot as well. True. Oh dear. 
Is someone on the floor? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just yeah. like, yeah. After this while, Tremuel sat there, you know, yeah, this is great, this is amazing. I feel so, uh, boof. Head no, on the so... bar out like a light. <laughs> and the bar <laughs> comes along as soon as your like, head hits the bar super hard. It comes along, lifts your head up. Mm. Oi, you missing points you should do. Uh, I think this one's had it. You might want to uh, take her upstairs. <laughs> And Come he... on, let's go. Can you help carry her along? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Little Claw sits there and goes, I can do anything. I <laughs> am a god. And falls <laughs> straight off his bar stool. <laughs> Puts Trim over his shoulder and they stagger upstairs. Oh, I'm not tired. I'm not tired. I'm not ready for bed. And, Come uh, on, Finn. He's little class. That's little class, he's three. Four <laughs> halflings. And <laughs> he's not even giving like the proper hand for four. It's like holding up both hands. <coughs> twice, so it's like giving ten. It's completely smashed. <laughs> <laughs> and whilst all that is uh, going on, Jin, uh, you hear rumours from some of the soldiers as everything starts to piece it down and quiet out. Uh, your ear is sort of burning to these rumours uh, about a certain temple in the area and how it's eerily gone quiet. Normally they'd uh, be sending some clerics or a couple of paladins to help with the orcs and everything to the north as summer starts to get into full swing and they'll be with them at the force or whatnot. But nothing for the past two days now they're starting to get a bit worried. Uh, I try and get as much information as possible. <coughs> Okie dokes. Uh, so yeah, do you want to go over and talk to the guys or just want to try and earwig them on their conversation? Um, I shall... Go over and talk to them. Okay. So you walk over, it's a couple of human soldiers, they sort of huddle around the edge of the table and they're discussing things, what's going on. Regarding it. They look over at you in a bit of surprise. Oh. Hello, we We got someone. What can we do Ex for you, sir? Excuse me, good gentleman. I couldn't but over here, your conversation. I'm just wondering if you could elaborate on these missing persons. Uh, they're not really uh, missing as such. Uh, you, you've heard of the Temple of Io, haven't you? It's uh, eastward from here. Big thing. Mm, afraid not. We're kind of just new to the area. Um, just passing through and we're just altogether praised of the local vicinity. Ah, travelling type. Jealous of your lot. No one's tied you down. No wives screaming at you. No kids begging for a new toy horse to break. Eh. Anyway, Temple of Io. Big, big pilgrimage for the, the holy types. You know, those clerics and paladins. Anyway, every year they try and send somebody or a small group this way to aid us with our ventures to the north. But uh, it's getting quite close because we're moving out in two days and no one's arrived yet. They're normally here by now and there's been nothing. No word. They may have to send Gut Wrench and a couple of the... Uh, Garrison to go have a look at it. Hmm. Intriguing. Um. We may be able to assist, but I would have to 
double check with my comrades that I'm travelling with. Yeah, it's alright. Missing persons ain't everyone's idea of a good time. But someone's just said another day in the job. Everybody just dropped. Yeah. yeah. No? <coughs> no. It's just been you, Brian. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be too surprised. My bandwidth is terrible. Did it drop out at any important point, or did you get that whole sentence? No, just as you were starting to speak, it dropped out. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, my end, it still carried on. Uh, okay, I promise now I've forgotten completely what I said. <laughs> you started to... Yeah, it started off with missing persons. <laughs> Oh wow, he dropped that far ago. Wow. Well, I heard all about the missing persons. Okay. Well, I heard I... all about I didn't hear about the missing persons. Nor did I. Basically, after I finished my little speech, you just went dead after. <laughs> Better than. Uh, short version, Temple East. It's a pilgrimage spot for clerics and paladins. They normally send a couple of people over just to give the garrison a yeah. boost. And Got that. They go north. No one's turned up. Like I said, I don't think I dropped. I think Skype just died. Hiccups. Yeah. You know, it's Skype. It's not, nothing's perfect. If the universe were perfect, no. we wouldn't be here. Yeah, you know, all of these Microsoft yeah, programs, nothing perfect. perfect. <laughs> Macintosh programs are no better. They occasionally break. Same with Linux. Yeah. I'll still stick with Microsoft. Stick with <laughs> um, what's available. So as I said, you know, I would have to double check with my um, compadres. Uh, that's fine. Do do what you like. Obviously, yeah. if we were to go investigating, we'd be looking for some kind of compensation for our troubles. Uh, I'm sure the uh, clergy there would be happy to resupply you. It's also the resting ground of many a great person so who knows maybe even something lies buried within that you could uh, liberate for the people hmm. intriguing very well um, I shall bid you adieu and be back shortly can't bid me adieu <coughs> but you can buy me an ale Okay, but nothing top shelf. Yeah, as if the barkeep out here is anything top shelf. Look at him. Scrapes by as much as we do. So, yeah, uh, knock a few copper off your character sheet. Uh, the man say out any information that something is going on towards the east. At the uh, Temple of Io. Um... How much should I knock off? Because I've only got silver or gold. Um, knock off. Good question. Well, you would have. This is where things now get complicated because it's ten copper to a silver, so you'd lose one silver but gain eight copper. Brain was not engaging with the currency then. <laughs> I was thinking, you would have 8 silver? No, wait, no, that's wrong. Back it up. 8 silver? No, still getting wrong. We're working in gold coins here. So yeah, you'd have 8 copper, but you'd lose the silver. Yeah, done. Cool, wonderful. Uh, do you guys want to do anything else for the evening? No, I think it's best to sleep and... I'm down and out, so... Journey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm literally down and out. Okay. After a few hours, barman rings the bell and calls the last orders. You'll get a peaceful night's rest. As peaceful as you can with a garrison full of soldiers. Some of them are still drunkly stumbling about into the wee small hours. Morning comes. So you gain, regain all your hit points, you're back up to full, you have all your spells back, all your abilities back. You feel rested and ready to roll in the morning. Can I make a roll on how hungover I am? 
Yes. Mm, what would it be for hungover? I would have uh, thought. Mm. It would be constituted because it's to do with your health. So, yeah, yeah, go on. Roll a constitution check. Oh, God, you got worse than the last time. <laughs> yes, you are very hungover. You feel like you've been hit over the head with a melon wrapped around a large gold brick. Uh, uh, what's Bob going to be like? Let's let's see what, how Bob's feeling this morning. Just as bad. <laughs> if not worse. Alright, we, we burst in and push open the shutters to the windows, flooding the place with light. <laughs> as you do, Bob immediately just screams, <laughs> shrieks and just tries to bury his head under the pillow. I hiss like a cat and just like, oh, guys, why would you do that? Why would you do that to us? I thought we were friends. Go on, up and out yeah. them. After a while, like you guys suddenly <coughs> start smelling um, the morning's breakfast, which is getting the smell of fried bacon, black pudding, all the really nice good comforts of home. Ah, uh, nice. Pigs in blankets, that's all you need. Uh, pigs yes. in blankets is a, a Christmas thing. No, it doesn't work no. all year yet. round. All year no. round. That's all year round. I had chorizo wrapped um, in bacon last night, sausages. That sounds amazing. Chorizo that was being saved for you, Brissa. Yeah, Ben had two, I had two, Dad had two. I'm sad now that you missed out on three. What the hell? He is upset. Poor Tom. Pretty poor Tom. Anyway, so yeah, you guys get the smell of breakfast. Um, it is free as you are guests of Commander Stormclaw. Yes. You, you only have to pay for drinks. The food comes as part of everything else. Several soldiers are also dotted about the place around the tables and that they are in about the same shape as Trim and Bob. <laughs> a little okay, bit so better because they've learned not to drink as much before going on duty but they're still sort of rubbing one eye and taking oh. black coffee to try and wake up. <laughs> give uh, Trim and uh, Little Claw quite literally just two huge Pitches black coffee, <laughs> thick black coffee. <laughs> Little Cole looks down at it and sniffs it. He's never seen coffee before in his life. He takes a sip and cringes because it's so bitter. But then afterwards, uh, I I just sort of take a sip. Uh, why would you do this to us? I thought we were friends. Again. But just happily, but then I just thank him anyway, like, thanks, just drinks it, anyway. That's um, Bob points here and just goes, evil, evil. I nod in agreement. He just goes back to drinking his coffee, but he's scowling at you the entire time. <laughs> I just tut and just continue doing what I continue with my meal. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, you all have a nice hearty breakfast. Bob and Trim start recovering slightly. <laughs> Can still fight, but not very well. Does this mean we'd have a disadvantage on our rolls? Uh, no, you'd be alright for combat. I'm not going to punish you that hard for heavy drinking. Fair enough. Uh, so what's your plan for th this fine day? And I do mean fine, it's quite a nice morning so far. Uh, well, Ian, why are you still Tom's over there? to tell us. Yes, so over breakfast I recount what I discussed with the soldiers at the end of the night. After everyone had departed from the um, bar. <laughs> um, and offered, obviously, the everyone else's opinions of the potential quest ahead. 
Well, surely it would make sense for Trim to investigate, because isn't she a cleric? Yes, this yes. would make total sense. Yeah. Uh, Trim, you know exactly <coughs> what Tom's on about. As soon as he says Temple East of here, the instant I'm like, it's the Temple of Io, of course I bloody know about it. Yeah, of course, I, I pretty much lived there for a little bit. <laughs> Ish. Really? You know, well, trained there a little bit before, uh, uh, before I had a dream, but, you know, that's not really important right now. The important thing is we may as well go there, see what's going on. Bob's up for adventure. He likes hanging around yep. with you guys. He doesn't die. He doesn't get beaten for doing bad things. Yay! Well, you're going to need me and my thunder wave, aren't you, so... <laughs> True. Um, and I shall, haven't killed anyone yet. Shall I go and look for the soldiers then uh, to basically accept the request? Uh, accept the quest of. No, you guys can go. You don't have to go and find the uh, big floating no, question mark. Just rumors. I know, but we need to nail down a price of our um, compensation. We're not necessarily going to get paid by them. Yeah, Just double check it. The salt of wage isn't that great. <laughs> Will the clerics pay us? Probably not. Possibly. Maybe. Possibly. Who okay. knows? You, you might even find magic items in there. Says the DM who may have made this map this morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, before we leave um, the keep, are we able to resupply any kind of like. You spent ammunition and stuff like that. Uh, yes, it will still cost you, but you can get rations and refill your water skins for free. But ammo, weapons, so on and so forth is going to cost you. What did people want? I'm all good still, so. I'm pretty good, all things considering. Do you need anything <coughs> then, you? Um, I think I'm st still full of everything, so okay. yeah, I'm pretty good to go. Sweet, Bob. And sort of looks over himself, realises he's not he's not wearing armour like you guys are, he's just wearing rags. <gasps> Bob! <coughs> yes? We should totally do, well, we should totally get you some armour and stuff. <laughs> I... <laughs> And now we got another shopping spree montage and makeover oh, montage. montage for I'm Bob. Off, you know the one Tom that I showed you, the makeover me. <laughs> oh yeah. Of a clone oh, art. <laughs> All I can think of is like nineties teenager. Hang on, let me find it. <laughs> Cluedus, get in the shop. Car bitches, we're going shopping. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay then, uh, what do you guys want to get Bob? Or did you want Bob to pick stuff out and then I'll fill you guys as we go? Um, well, oh god, what is there? <laughs> I don't know, I will look at it later, just for the sake of copyright. Oh yeah, um, no, no, I know that, it was if, if any of you wanted to either of you two wanted to see what I was going on about later. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, we may as well see what Bob likes and see whether it's good or good enough for him. It's going out of your purse though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hmm. How much money have you guys got all together? Um, uh, if you click the money it will come up on screen. Wait, monies? Yeah. Wait, where would that be? Uh, if you go on your character sheet, like right at the bottom, there should be a total oh. amount. Oh, right, okay. I, that's where I was going to go. And if you click that, it should just roll it through onto roll 20. 20 gold from Tom. Oh, how do I. Oh. Just press the GP button oh, at the bottom. Okay. Oh, okay. <coughs> this could be. I'm poor. 
And it's not so much you guys are poor, it's more... Buying stuff for Bob could just bankrupt you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what we can find him on the way. Shall we head off? Yeah, yeah, may yep. as well. Yep. Never mind, Bob gets nothing. <laughs> Oh. Like, I was looking at like, the price of things like leather armor is like a good 15 gold, so bing, that's a lot of your money gone. <laughs> Just kissing out the kobold and it wouldn't give that much benefit. So, anyway, you guys are going towards the Temple of Io, yeah? Yes. Throw up the yes. region map for you. The east. Yep, to the east. It is a temple. It does have like a trim, you know this anyway, because you've been there. Uh, it does yes. have like a small village surrounding it. Mm -hmm. okay. Kind of in the way, the same way that Fort Iron Tower does. It's not really meant for people to stay and live. It's more for people working in the area. So it's ho it's housing for the clergy to stay away. They don't sleep in the temple. They sleep elsewhere. They can also keep chickens and whatnot. And I just need to do something on the map really quick. Uh, as I describe it to you. So, you guys approach the temple. It's uh, getting on for late morning now. And everything is all nice and quiet, if not too quiet. Like, way too quiet. Can I make a perception check? Yes, you can. Right. There you go. I've made my adjustments. Uh, that's true. Uh, perception. There you go. I throw you guys over to the map so at least you can see travel wise. It's about equal distance. 22. A 22 on your perception. Um, as you guys sort of approach and walk through the village and you look around, Trim, you notice that there's no one around. Like, normally there'll be sounds of clergymen chanting or praying, <coughs> there'll be the sound of the bell. There is nothing at all around here. Even some of the houses, the doors are just swinging in the breeze. It's as if everyone just up and left overnight. So oh. basically, chitty chitty bang bang. <laughs> do you think they may have gone to? Do you think they may have gone up north like those guys you mentioned, Jin? There's a possibility. That there would always be somebody in the village, because surely wouldn't there be people looking after the temple? Hmm. It yeah. does make sense. Even if there wasn't travellers. It requires further investigation, I feel. I say towards the temple, you know the way. Trim. Alrighty! Well, you guys can see the temple, it's like having York Minster in the middle of some out of the way village in Yorkshire. It's a bit Fair hard enough. not to miss. <laughs> I'm guessing it's that big building there, then. <laughs> yeah, that big building. <laughs> that big building, yes. Yep, that's the one. Even Bob's amazed as he's looking around. Oh, wow. Oh. You built this? Even we can't do this. Okay, as you guys carry on walking through, you come to the temple. Ooh. Which is right here in front of you. Uh, right, I need your tokens. So I need Nat, I need Tom, I need Christy, and I also need Bob's token. <coughs> bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah. Uh, as you guys approach the temple itself, it's you know, quite well maintained. It looks nice. It's made out of whitewashed stone. Uh, which token is that? I'm editing and editing bobs. Uh, so it's, you know, really nice to look at. You can see a couple of stained glass windows that are depicting the various types of dragon that exist in the world. So you've got golds and all the metallics on one side, you've got the chromatics on the other. And it's still eerily quiet as you guys approach what do you guys want to do can i make another oh, 
Go for it. I was about to say, it's a bit too quiet. Should we do a section test? Yeah, I'd Actually, like to do yeah, a section test. Yeah, well, I was going to do one as well. <coughs> Roll for it, then. Was that... Um... Actually, rather than doing a perception, can I use my detect magic? You can indeed use your detect magic. I've, I've like rolled my perception, so. Okay, I need to move the rules on detect magic anyway, so it's a good thing you clicked on it. Uh, thirty feet in front of you. Uh. I'll let you off anyway because the tech magic doesn't work like sonar or anything like that. And you mm. know that anyway. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't want to make you waste it. Don't worry, I, I'll just do a perception like I was going to. Yeah, do a perception now. Uh, who was I up to now? That should be Trim. Nameplate. Should, should I do a perception as well? Yes, please. <laughs> uh, Bob will join you guys as well. <laughs> <laughs> Bob is still in awe of the building. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? Uh, as you guys like look around and notice, um, it's still like deathly quiet. Like you could hear a pin drop inside, and it would echo, kind of quiet. Um, but as you look around Trim, this particularly catches your attention. Normally around here, there are no birds or anything like that. No birds. Yeah, like, you know, whilst you were here and studying and everything else, there were no bird. There were never any birds around the temple's vicinity. You get some, like, in the village and trees nearby, but on temple grounds, birds actively avoided it. Uh, but as you guys get closer, you notice this, you spot crows and ravens and uh, rooks, you know, scavenging blackbirds that omen ill will guys, are on that... the building. Something happened here, and I'm not getting a good vibe of this. There never used to be any birds around here, but now they're just loads. Ah. Well, do <coughs> that lady back in the pub a couple of nights back have a raven? Now I've already said it was a hawk. It was a bird of prey, big bird. Yeah, big bird. Sorry. Getting in a muddle. That's right. I could actually say it was big bird from Sesame Street, but I'd be taking it too far. And <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> um, well, it is an omen of death. Has there been a sacrifice? Do you do sacrifices here, or would there be a? Uh, you can make a religion check if you want. Shin. On crows and everything else. Uh, religion, did you say? Yep. Should I make a religion check as well? If you want to. Yeah, I'll make a religion check. Why not? See if you get any better than Shin. Shin is still fairly convinced that. Rituals and things happen here. Um, I will give you advantage anyway because, like I said, this is all related to you. Yeah. Like that. This is your religion, this is your home. Um, you know for a fact that no ritual or well, sacrifices or anything like that happen with Io. It's like Christianity. I is the god of like creation sort of thing. Like, they wouldn't need sacrifices. They're not that type of god. Yeah, I'm not saying that you lot did. I'm saying that some someone else came and did a sacrifice here. Of them. <laughs> Is there a foul smell in the air at all? You can't smell anything out of the ordinary. It smells like summer. You definitely can't smell rot or decay or anything like that specific. Bob steps up to the door anyway and puts his gnarled claw against it. Should we? Mm. Yeah. L yeah. Little claw well. can scoot on in. Can do. Okay, little claw, do not fuck this up. 
Go on, okay. Bob. Okay. Bob opens the door, <coughs> gently just wide enough for him to get in. It creaks rather loudly. He manages to slink into the darkness. And, well, not really the darkness, but past the door and he closes it behind him. And then, after a few moments, you hear him scream. Bob! Go running in. I'm going running in. Bob! Okay, no. uh, I'll have initiatives off everyone just to make things easy for this next bit. Okay. <coughs> because of what is in here. Oh, for a minute. Right. Yeah. Yep. There, there has to be an easy way of rolling initiative as well, but this is the way Roll20 wants to do things. Mm. So why not just press initiative and then it came up? Oh, no. Uh, you might have to highlight your token as well. Ah. Uh. <coughs> Otherwise, it brings up like an error box saying, Error, I have nothing to attach this to. Yeah, your token is on the board. <coughs> uh, check my notes. I need one more little lighter. Fun. Okay, after you guys come rushing in, uh, we'll get them to... <coughs> do it really quick. What do I get? Ten. Lovely. Oh no. Yeah, they're actually going ahead of you. This is interesting. <coughs> this will be a first. I said ten. There we go. I put it into descending order. So you guys rush on in. You see at the uh, back of the temple a few more big scaly kobolds. They they're still about the same size as Bob, but they're armed differently. Like Bob has a stone flint on the end of a stick which is being used as like a dagger these guys are actually wielding some sort of a weapon uh oh and we'll put Bob there because Bob is being held by two of them and they sit there and hold Bob tight and they hold the axe like up against under his chin they start shouting and hissing at you. Again, they don't understand you, but Bob translates. And he's saying, Surrender! Surrender! Yes! Surrender! Ooh. Um, how, how dark is it in, inside this room? Uh, not that dark. It's pretty dark, but only because of the way the temple's positioned. It's facing towards the mountains. And the yeah. sun's coming up and it's now getting towards midday, so you're not getting as much light as you would through the stained glass. I was about to say, if I, if I was like the last one in, should I roll a stealth and see if I can sneak in? Uh, you can do on your go, yeah. By that point it might just tick over. <laughs> I mean, you can see like the shadows are moving. The sun's going up and getting into its next position in the day. Mm. But yeah, they're all shouting for Bob to surrender. Uh, Trim. We'll pass it over to you. Mm, I want to say Bob. Wait. I want to ask them questions as well, but... Uh, but I'm not sure whether they're going to be like... I would say... Drop... Not drop your weapons, but show that you're empty-handed. Okay, I... That's what like, I was gonna do. Yeah, I was. I could be like, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll just drop my weapon. Okay, you drop your mace. It clangs to the ground. Uh, if you want, you can make a persuasion check with advantage to try and calm the situation down. Okay. Um, I'll also say. No, because I didn't mention it earlier. Uh, the one that has the wrench is the one that has Bob by the app, has him by the throat, and is willing to slice okay. his throat. Oh, wow. 
No! <laughs> that did not work <laughs> out well. Oh dear. Oh. Okay then. Uh, did you want to do anything else, or is that all you're going to do? Um... I'm just going to slowly and gingerly stand here, like a little away. As you get I'm... closer, they like, pull Bob's head up and put that axe ever closer. You start seeing a drip of blood just move slowly down the axe head. Bob! Don't worry, I'm going to totally get you out of this! Somehow. Uh, Shinju, it's your go. <coughs> um, well, I'm gonna raise up my hands to sort of show that I don't have anything. But as I do, I'm gonna use Minor Illusion to create the illusion of that we've all disappeared. Would that work? Um... Or that we've all disappeared, or either some of their village or some of their vision has gone. Let me double I don't check know. minor illusion. Right. Try and remember I what I did more, last time. It's got to be more tangible or something like that. Like you create, I think it's you create like an image of something. Mm. More uh, people, more men on our side. <laughs> M M M M E. I mean, would that work? More men on our side, paint. Uh, it would certainly work. There you go. Uh, you create a sound, its volume can range from a whisper to a scream, it can be your voice, someone else's, a lion's roar, beating drums, other sounds, so on and so forth. Um, well you can create an object, it could be like a chair, muddy footprints, a small chest, can't be larger than a five foot cube, so yeah, your idea of blinding them wouldn't work. Yeah. Uh, the image can't create sound, light, smell, or any other sensory effect. Oh, right. Okay. So that's not gonna work then. Yeah, you pick a sound or an image. So you could make like the sound of a a small army outside. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching the show. It's been great making it and writing it and now finally actually around to playing it. Uh be sure to like, favourite, subscribe and other YouTube jazz. And if you have subscribed, click the little bell icon there next to where the subscribe button is. That way you will always be alerted when these videos go live. Also means a huge deal. Also, please don't hesitate to click the links on screen. They will take you to the players' relevant cosplay pages, YouTube channels, etc, etc. And I'll see you next time.